So random fact, apparently this is not always a good thing Tur to Turkians and Greece people and people in Greece. So anyone who got from over there, I'm not meaning anything bad, but I put the hand, the thumbs up. But yeah, I found that out the other day. Cool, huh? Here with Sarah um, with Mission Attacker. All right, this week's um, theme is favorite voice actors. This is a theme where I actually wasn't sure if we'd done it yet. I've been, it's been rolling in my mind for quite a while. I'm like, look, did we do this yet or not? I didn't know. So, and but when going through, scrolling through our whole entire blog channel, I see we hadn't done it. So here we go. Anyway, um, voice actors. For a long time, I didn't have a favorite voice actor, um, and then I started watching Full Metal Alchemist, and I got into Vic, and Vic Mignogna became mine for a while. Mine kind of, you'll see this, mine kind of come and go, it's like, oh yeah, they're cool, and they're not cool, except for one. But anyway, um, so I started out with Vic Mignogna watching Full Metal Alchemist, like, he's pretty cool. I like him, it's like, nah, 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 and it's like, and then I kind of faded off, but the one voice actor who I've always really liked ever since I've watched Fruits Basket is Eric Vale. Now, some of you are be probably like, Eric Vale? Who? I don't know who this is. Until I mention the names. Um, Trunks from DBZ, which uh, once again, I'm going to tell you I've never seen, but Trunks from DBZ, Yuki Soma from Fruits Basket, Kimberly from Full Metal Alchemist, just to name a few. Um, he's got a lot of current characters too. Um, if you guys are, um, I've so I know he's got I, I know he's got a Soul Eater character. I know he's got a D Gray Man character. I've not fallen much enough of the series to tell you names. It's really not enough names. Um, random. He also does a lot of um, writing. He basically. If you look on your go and go to Foonie's webs go to any of your watch your Foonie titles, and check the back of check the where it says the description um, during the credits it talks about like writing. You'll see the na the name Eric Vale in the credits. Um, for you Oron fans, um, besides he did the voice of the the teacup kit boy in the second episode, and if you check he wrote a lot of the writing for that script even. I mean his vo <laughs> if you check in those credits of Oron. Eric Vale is listed in that several times, so he's not isn't just a vo isn't just a voice actor, but he's also he's got the writing thing the writing thing on him. So he's one of those voice actors, well, where I really loved his voice. I fell in love with his voice when his voice acting, but I never it's one of those things. Where I like to try to meet my own, my, my voice actor, my favorite voice actors. I've met Vic several times. I've met um, Johnny Young Bosch. Um, I've met, met Sonny Strape. And other voice actors and get but I always um I remember telling Brittany we were talking once and that's and I'm like I wish I could meet Eric Fail and she's like oh well he's not doing any voice act he's not doing any more cons as, as of late because he was taking care of his family and all that until as recently this past 2000, summer 2009 he started cons up again but I, at the time, I had no idea about it. I'd always like kind of brush it off to the side that we never, I never get to meet him, you know? It's like he's an amazing voice actor, but I'll probably never get to meet him, you know? Until working with GeekCon. Um, I'm on guest relations with GeekCon, and we're basically, I get to help with the voice actor, from voice actors we bring in, different sci fi guests we bring in, different gaming guests we bring in. And it's almost like a pipe dream kind of thing. I was like, okay, we were like, okay, get your the, everyone. Um, are my head, the, the voice actor, the um, guest heads like, okay, get if you know, something, go ahead and start searching, searching some names of different voice actors that you're wanting to that you'd like to bring into the con. And I thought Eric Vale, and but I'm like, well, I don't know where to contact him. 
until I remembered that two years ago, I added him on Facebook. And so I went on there, got his contact info, and as, as on voice, on voice, on being um, part of the um, guest relations team, I went like, we have like, I was able to contact him, and within two days, he got back to us. And I'm proud to present, if you, for those who don't know, which I'm pretty sure it's pretty well, well known com uh, knowledge already, he is coming to GeekCon. So, as being a, I get to not, I mean, I don't get just to meet him as, as, at GeekCon, but I get to work with it. I get to basically be his handler all weekend. But yeah, so gastro, so basically, my favorite voice actor, I get to actually, just don't get to meet, but I get to hang out, hang out all weekend with him at GeekCon. Um, if you guys are still not sure who Geek, what GeekCon is, I know I get, get plugged for it. There's his, the, I'll put down the links right here for the guest, guest relation, for, um, that, for GeekCon, um, the GeekCon website, and you guys can find more, more information there about who we're bringing in, what GeekCon is, um, so yeah, um, that's all I, my favorite voice actor is Eric Vale, for sure, and I get to meet him this week, there, this, this summer, on Labor Day weekend, and if you guys come to GeekCon, you can meet him too. Anyway, that's all I have for this, you guys, this week, and see you next week.